Michael doesn't have style, look at his socks. Hello everybody and welcome to this video. My name is Annika. In case you didn't know, I make a bunch of videos about college and vloggy kind of videos. School's coming up, or college uh, school is coming up and some of you might be headed to college and I felt like this video, I mean, it really should have been filmed like earlier this summer, but I didn't know what stuff I wanted to put in this video. As you can tell from the title, it is College Essentials. Um, this is stuff that I asked some of my roommates what they felt was needed. Of, and some of it is like not really essentials, kind of like a luxury. Of course, you don't have to get all of this stuff. Work with what you have financially. This is just stuff that can make your years at college easier for those freshmen that are watching. Especially if you go to Sonoma State, I would highly recommend all this stuff. Also, I linked it all down below and I have little subcategories for everything. If you go on to my Pinterest though, I'll link that down below. That's more updated because as I think of more things, I'll just add it onto my board. So feel free to check that out. But we're just gonna go right into it. This is like what I called on my Pinterest board school supplies, but I'm, it's not like the generic pencils, pens, all that other stuff. It's literally school supplies that would make your college year easier. I had a five subject notebook from Five Star and I used that for all my classes. That is the easiest way to, I also took notes on my laptop rather than Sorry, I'm gonna move my hair a lot. I know it's probably really annoying. It's just when I'm hot, I don't normally keep my hair down. And this is new. <laughs> okay, so. I normally took my notes on my laptop versus like an actual notebook for finals and uh, midterms. If I wanted to learn a certain term, I would rewrite the notes into my notebook. I literally only carried around my notebook and my laptop to each class. I think that was about it. I really didn't carry a lot just because I didn't need to unless I was going somewhere else where I like I had to stuff my backpack. And then the next thing I would recommend is a water bottle. I listed the hydro flask down below. I really want a hydro flask. I don't have one, but everybody has one. And honestly, they're probably the best things because they keep your water cold and hot. This one I want specifically, I've linked it down below, but I want that one. Um, because, well, it has a straw, so. And then the next thing that I linked all, obviously, is a laptop. I have mine right here. I love Taco Bell, love my sorority. Well, uh, this is my brand new album sticker, and I love Stranger Things. Also, it's got a little ghost on it. I recommend a MacBook only because I've had a MacBook. If you, you know, don't have one, that's cool. I recommend a laptop. I think that one's more self-explanatory, but I don't know. I, I just thought I'd put that in. The other thing that I put in, I was actually sent, and... I am actually really excited about this. They're not like sponsoring this video or anything. I literally was super excited about this. I don't have it attached to my phone because my phone doesn't have a case on it. But it is this little, um, what is it? Wallet holder, I guess. Let me come closer and show you and show you how great this product is. It literally, oh, oh by the way, they have a lot of really cute colors. I just picked the pastel -y, uh blue because I felt like it matched a lot of my stuff in my room um but i have my sonoma state id in it already and it's so durable like it's not gonna fall out which is nice because i go places a lot and i don't even remember how i carried my id but i know i always remember my phone there was a few times where i actually forgot my id in my dorm um but <laughs> bro i always got my phone on me so you know this is gonna be my new best friend the beauty of this is like it can go down so that you can't see it and then it can also go up and then you can lean it. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. And it's like a pop socket, but not, but better. It's beautiful, and I'm super excited to be using this. And it's not like cheap material either. It's like a leather material. I don't know. <laughs> it's like good material. It's not cheap. I know that not everybody's school has a living area, like a communal living area, like how Sonoma State has it. Sonoma State is actually, we're really, really lucky because we have like apartment D uh, dorms. I know a lot of students at Sonoma State like to decorate their living area with lights and stuff. So I've linked a fairy lights down below. And then I also have a TV, which is self-explanatory if you're close with your roommates. And then I also have a fan because, oh my goodness, you're like, when Sonoma State is hot, it is hot and I don't think we have air conditioning I think what we have is a heater only 
So we be sweating up in Samoa State and we, I blinked a tower fan because those things are the best. And then I also included a extension cord. Now these are all things that you could technically not need in your living area. You could figure it out with your roommates, how you want to lay out your living area. I didn't put a tapestry, but a lot of people do put tapestries. I just didn't put one because, you know, whatever tapestry you guys want, that's up to you. That's not really me. Um, and also, I don't know how you're decorating your dorm. But these are more just like very basic, generic things. Um, I put an extension cord because back at my dorm in my freshman year, I did have an extension cord out in the living room and it was the nicest thing because people could charge the laptops while and do homework and hang out with us um, and their phones and kind of everybody got to be around each other. Extension cords are crucial, like so freaking important. I don't know how to explain to you how important they are because like you literally only have like four outlets in the living room, I want to say. And so an extension cord in the living room, best thing ever. Um, and then this is something that isn't like really needed, but I loved having, I think my roommates and I all loved having this in our dorm. And it was the couch guest book. Um, I bought it, it wasn't really expensive. I mean, it was less than 20 bucks. Um, this is what it looks like, and it's just a little book that people have signed. It's like velvety, um, and I got it off of Uncommon Goods. I'll, um, I have that down below. Okay, so this is Haley's. Haley, I hope you don't mind. But like it says, the date that she visited, which she visited a lot, but the first time she sat on our couch. Um, I don't even think it's the first time she sat on the couch. I think it's the first time she signed the book. But basically, you document every little thing and it's the cutest thing ever. And I like looking back at this and going, oh my gosh, I remember. And like, it's just a nice little, this little gift. Oh, Evans, Nader's, Hannah's. This is like one of honestly my favorite things to look at. And I'll, oh, also on the back, like after you sign your page, on the back of it you can write memorable moments and additional sentiments. That's what that word is. And one of somebody wrote, Michael doesn't have style. Look at his socks. That's a quote from me. We basically filled up so many. Sorry, I'm literally just sat here like looking and seeing who. Um, how many people signed it. This is so crazy because we had we've had this many people come and we've only got like This many pages left and that was our freshman year. Highly recommend it I made sure everybody freaking signed this book. I always hyped it up way more than it should have been hyped up But it's fine because it's like memories in here um, Also, some of them I can't read and that's okay too. Kitchen essentials. They're not really like Essentialies. I honestly should not have titled this video <laughs> College Essentials. I feel like my dorm stuff is more like the bedroom stuff is more essentials than everything else so far. Um, but the kitchen stuff, I highly recommend a toaster, an oven toaster, or even like the ones that you just toast your bread in. <laughs> the ones that like pop up. <laughs> because I don't know what they're called. I'm I don't know what kind of toaster. A regular toaster or a toaster oven. Also, if you go to Sonoma State freshman year, you're gonna have the calf. You can go to the calf anytime you want. Uh, actually, not really, because they're only open for a certain number of hours. But you can have bagels. You can have bread as much as you want. They have a toaster. So like, if you want to get a toaster yourself in case you get like hungry at night, past calf time because honestly at the calf like nighttime if you want like a bagel or something odds of that being there really like it's not gonna happen 10 piece set that I've linked up a set of pots and pans that I linked down below from Bed Bath & Beyond and at, in your freshman year you might not need pots and pans as much as you think you will I still would suggest getting at least a pot and a pan you might not need the whole set yet um, just because you will want to cook. You will get sick of the calf food and you will still want to eat regular food. It's so much nicer just to be able to cook your own meals and if you like or miss the home cooked meals, definitely suggest getting pots and pans and going to buy groceries. Also, you're gonna have to get to do that anyways the next couple years. This is like a really nice little set that I linked. I would actually like this. Wow. Um, it's like a knife and like spatula -y stuff, like cooking stuff, cooking ware uh, set. A Keurig. Now, you might not need a Keurig or you might not be a big coffee drinker. I've started loving coffee, so I would suggest a Keurig. And then also during finals week, it's just nicer to have your own 
finals and midterms week, it's just nice to like have a Keurig, make your coffee, get ready for school, head out the door kind of a thing. I also linked a Brita. I linked a big Brita and a smaller one because I don't know if people have a kitchen at their dorm. Um, they might have a communal kitchen. I don't know how this works outside of Sonoma State to be honest with you. I'm sorry. Um, but we had at my dorm I think two Brittas and then one of my sorority sisters had a baked Britta in her fridge that everybody refills all the time and it's like a really nice Britta. And then I also linked a microwave. I had my own microwave in my room, in my dorm room, but we also had a microwave in the kitchen area. Not all Sonoma State dorms, by the way, will have a microwave or a fridge or any of that stuff. Um, so I highly suggest you bringing it still because you never know when you want to heat up some mac and cheese or top ramen or whatever um, at Sonoma State you get a bathroom in your dorm. I know a lot of people probably have communal bathrooms that, you know, co-ed bathrooms, I don't know what they're called, you like have to go down to the hall. I don't know, sorry. Obviously your shower caddy, that is from Target and it's really cute. It comes in different colors and it's not a plasticky one. Not that plastic is terrible, but um, you know, our oceans. So yeah, I just got, you know, I mean, this is probably not like great material, but the plastic ones I feel like might break more. And I feel like this meshy one, won't break on you as much. Um, I, I feel like the handles might rip though, but no. I don't know. Oh, and then the biggest essential, like this one is an essential. This one is an essential no matter where you go, where you are, like you need this. I'm not even exaggerating. I can honestly tell you like, you're gonna use this a lot. You're gonna be thanking me after you buy one. Um, it is poopery. I have one in my bathroom right now. It is the best freaking thing ever invented. It's basically a spray before you go kind of a thing. You spray it, I spray like three or four times just because I gotta make sure you, you can't smell me. Uh, you can't smell my go. <laughs> and you basically spray it before you poop. Straight up, like you spray it three or four times. I actually, I feel like you're, I feel like it says you're only supposed to spray it like twice. But I ain't trying to do that, so I just spray it like three or four times. And you don't smell anymore. You smell like daisies. Actually, you smell like lemon. I don't know about all of the scents though, but the one I have smells like a lemony scent. So yeah, definitely suggest that. Now, if you have a bathroom at Sonoma State, some of the things I recommend would be like shower head caddies. My roommate and I had she brought one and then one side was hers on the other side was mine which was like really nice and easy and it was super sweet of her to do that um you know coordinate with your roommate and figure that out i know in my friend's dorm they share the bathroom and that might be harder so they, i think they carry their stuff in like a little caddy and then also highly recommend a trash bin with a lid especially for girls just because it's so much easier that way like i prefer my trash bins with the lid i don't want to have to see my trash because I am trash. No, but because it's just, you know, the actual dorm room essentials. Like these are things that I think go for any dorm at any school. I highly suggest a steamer. That's the first, uh, first thing I'm going to go with. Um, especially if you're thinking about going through sorority recruitment, get a, like a small little steamer. You can steam your clothes before the night before. If you have a job interview, you obviously don't want to go in wrinkly clothes. Like steamers will come in handy and you will not realize it until you have one. There would be certain days where like certain material just gets more wrinkly than others, no matter what I do. And so um, I didn't have a steamer, Sumiko had the steamer and I would just borrow it from her. So I highly suggest a printer because I'm a huge procrastinator and I'm pretty sure a lot of college students are. Shockingly, some of them might not actually be procrastinators. But when it comes to essay writing and presentations and stuff like that, I just don't work as great as others. Like, my creative thinking, oh man, it's all over the place. The printer would come in handy when, I don't know, maybe like if you're up at 3 in the morning, still trying to edit out your project or your essay. And you know, you need to print it before you turn it into either your 8 a.m. or 11 a.m. or whatever type of class time you got. 
printers just come in handy. And also you can print whatever you want. And then I also put a Keurig and the smaller Brita. I put um, also a microwave and a mini fridge. I highly suggest a mini fridge, even if you go to Sonoma State, just because then you can keep your food in there. And I also had a memory foam mattress topper. I didn't have one my freshman year. It, it's not like absolutely needed, but it, it's going to make you feel homey and more comfy and cozy. And also might make you late for class because they could be really comfortable and you might not want to get up. So like, you know, teach their own on that essential. Um, and then I also put a bed bug cover or bed, bed bug spray. I had a spray that I would put on and I'd wait for it to dry. But um, I know that a cover is honestly going to be probably nicer and easier. It, You will feel a lot more safer, trust me, if you have one or the other. Because, you know, that was in your bed before. You didn't know whoever slept on that bed before. Be safe. Be proactive. Put, oh, I put a heater. Oh, Jesus Lord. Okay, let me tell you. Going to Sonoma State, I didn't realize how cold it gets. Now, I know I just said that I hate the heat, but I hate feeling sweaty. Ugh. The cold though, man, I love it and I hate it. I get cold so easily. Like literally, it could be 100 degrees out and I go into a pool and at some point the pool's gonna be really cold, no matter what. And I will have to get out because I can't stand how cold it is. I can't keep heat in my body unless it's super hot out all the time. And I had to have a heater because I just, Literally, I'd put on layers and layers of clothes and I'd still be really cold. I put extension cords down because, again, you don't know how many outlets are in your space. It's so much easier and nicer just to have extension cords all around your space. Um, and then I put um, a braided charging cable, I guess, for iPhones. My cable I bought from Apple is literally, I don't know if you can see, but it's like ripping right now. And a braided cable won't do that to you. So I also linked the six uh, foot ones, not six inch cable, that's that. The really long ones, because you could do so much with that. You could literally be sat on like different sides of your room and you don't have to get up. The charger will reach all the way to you. And then I also linked a bunch of different command hooks and command strips, all different sizes. Um, I preferred the small little clear ones if you have like the little string lights like I have attached to there. Yeah, and then I also included, I don't know if you can see, uh, that pillow specifically. Uh, Target has them still for the same price that I bought them at. This is like literally the softest thing in the world. So many people have one. This is the back of it, but I'm not going to show you the front of it because I don't, I can't. But it's so soft. Like, let me just tell you, this is my favorite pillow I own and I'm happy I've gotten it. Okay, go over there. Um, and then I also got my little lamp that you can't see it. Um, a lamp that comes with a pencil case, or not a pencil case, like a place to put your pens and pencils, little like dividing shelves, an outlet for a, your USB port, and an outlet for like an leggy port with the little things. I also recommend a shoe organizer rack thingy that I put right here. I would suggest those because you don't really have a place to put your shoes. Now this thing isn't gonna really do much but I feel like it will help you be more organized and it's a whiteboard like this like so this one's cute because it's marble um, and it's from Target it's nice and and it's less than 10 bucks so affordable cute uh, useful my friend Haley she had one in her dorm and she would put her classes, she would write her classes and then she would put what homework she had for each class. I think it's really smart because visually you can see what classes you know you have homework in. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this video is kind of pointless, not gonna lie. I felt like I just should post a video, but this video, even though it's a little pointless, hopefully it did help you kind of not forget certain things for school. Shout out to Jocelyn and Melanie because I still have to go film with them. They want to film before we leave for school and I don't know when Jocelyn has to go, but yeah. Okay, I got to go now. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry, it's kind of pointless. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, bye.